Mamed Israel, president and co-founder of Plural Additive Manufacturing. What I've got on the table here are three different categories of parts that we've printed off of our three NTR A2 and A4 printers. Over here, headlight bucket printed for a truck, uh, very highly detailed, um, a partial uh, rear differential housing uh, printed for a Midwest company uh, to use as an inspection fixture as well as an uh, inspection tool as well as this also used as an inspection tool for CMM. And then Crocs, one of our customers asked us to print, because we're in the Northwest, asked us to print a Bigfoot uh, sandal out of their Crocs uh, 95A TPU material. Uh, we've got a multi-material part here printed with TPU and ASA that uh, six of these parts in different shapes all fit together to create a frame to act as a seal and it's, this particular part is going to save the customer $160,000 over a uh, four month period. And then we have a, uh, another inspection part here. This Two of these together uh, were tested for routing cables on the rear axle of a vehicle. Very difficult part to lay up in sheet metal by the way. Um, this is a great example of where we used a Lego table for uh, fixturing four fixtures. These are fixtures themselves that hold a part that then have that part that has uh, laser information put on it, uh, laser gets laser etched, and then we needed a fixture for the fixtures, so we used Lego. This shows precision, the ability to pop this on and off the way that Lego tables work. And then we have soft jaws for secondary operations. Over here we have a series of form, fit, and function parts and end use parts. This is a, uh, a door grommet for a Class 8 truck printed in, in, in uh, TPU 85A. Uh, these are nylon carbon parts printed for drones that weigh somewhere between 6 to 80 pounds. Brackets, they replace metal parts with these parts right here. Um, we have material for both investment casting and sand casting. This is a riser for sand casting. This was an impeller that would be burned out in an investment casting process. Uh, this part right here was a special uh, material that we had made working with J-Bill uh, engineered materials. It's a flame retardant PC ABS designed for consumer product. And then maybe one of my favorite parts for one of our, uh, one of the companies we printed for, Chip Foos, Foos Design, we printed a complete taillight assembly for a 1939 Cadillac that they use for form, fit, and function, which you can, may or may not be able to see right here. <laughs>